Hello guys, welcome to Web Designing HTML CSS course. My name is Vaseem and today we are going to start our lecture number 12. Before starting the lecture, I will request to everyone, please subscribe my channel, like my videos and share my videos with everyone so that everyone can get this knowledge and make their own websites very easily. Now let's start. In the last lecture, we have created this structure of the website in the div and we are learning that how we can control the structure of the website with the help of HTML and CSS tags. We are following this website. So we have created this logo and banner area and the menu area here like this logo and banner area we have created and this is the menu area we have created. Now today we are going to create the news ticker area and the slider area then we will create content and the footer area. Now let's uh, start. These are the two files that we are working in this. One is the index and the second one is the style.css file. So this is my index.html file and uh, this is my Dreamweaver editor. And this one is the style.css. Now let's start. In the HTML, before the container div, these two divs are created. Before closing the container div, this one is the closing container div and this one is the opening container div. In between, we have to write each and everything because we are working in the container. Let me show you this thing also. This is my container like I have put the blue color that's why. So when I'm going to put the logo and banner here so we will remove this blue color and we will put those things here. This time I'm just dividing the areas. Now this is my first div is for the logo area and the second one div is for the menu. Now what I have to do is I have to make here the div for the new sticker so I will write here one div with the closing div tag and here I will write here ID right what ID I will write here first of all I will create that ID in the style sheet why I am creating the ID here because ID is created for the unique purposes you can see here the new sticker in the website is use just for one time in all the website so that's why I'm using here ID we can also make the class but I think the ID is better so that's why I'm creating the ID so we can use or make the classes for the new sticker for inside things like uh, here I will create an ID for whole whole the new sticker and if I want to change some recent news font or background color or if I want to control the speed of this so for that purpose I can create dot news classes so the best practice is to make the ID here first so the name is ID what I'm going to write here the width I will put the width here 990 pixel because my total container height and width is let me show you this thing also my container width is 990 height is 990 pixel but we have to write here the width 990 pixel and the height what height I want here I will write here 50 pixels you can see here here you can see the height is 50 pixels this one is 50 pixel height right so that's why I write here height 50 pixels now for showing you I will put here border 1 pixel solid and I will choose the color here black right I will save this and refresh my browser but we cannot see anything here because we are not we have not write the ID in the HTML 
so i will come in, in the html so here i will write the id when i'm going to write here id you will see in the indentation the ids are showing if you have more more uh, make more than one id so you will see here more ids i will show also this thing in my next step so news i have right here i will refresh this here you can see the news is written here now what i want to do is i want to show you this news in the middle and uh, in the bigger font so for this purpose what i will do is i will copy this font i will write here the this one and i will write here the closing font tag i will save this and refresh my browser here you will see the font is bigger now but i need this font in the middle of the tab so for this purpose what we will do let me tell you this thing again for this purpose i will write here text align center right so it will be in the center but i need in between top and bottom this text for this purpose we write here line height and we put the total height here like this is the 50 pixel so i will write here 50 pixel so that my word will be in between the top and bottom you can see in between the div here you can see right so in the same way we can do menu tabs css pattern i will also tell you that thing when we are going to do the work in the menu tab now what i want logo menu and new sticker is created now i want the slider area so for the slider area first of all i will create a div in the container after the news we need the slider so i will write here a one div with the closing div tag in between i will write here the slider in the same way i will create id for the slider because slider is also the unique thing so i will write here slider and what i will do is in the same way i will write here the width 990 pixel right height what i want i will write here the height like uh, if we will see this so i think the height will be 350 right you can write the height according to your uh, design or what you like you can write here so i will also copy this thing from here and i will paste it here just to save the time right and uh, here in the index i will write here the id you can see in the indentation two ids are showing which i was saying you when i was writing the news id more ids when you will write here you can see your ids like this news and slider i will click on the slider save this refresh my browser here you can see the slider text is showing with the area right in the same way to show the slider the font bigger i will put this thing here so in uh, when we are going to let me tell you this thing when we are going to write here or put here logo and the banner like this logo and banner here then i will remove this logo and add banner text obviously the background color also menu news slider this everything will be removed from here this is just for your understanding that's why i will remove this font color font si font size at that time i will remove this thing right now what i will write here line here line height is not implemented here why the line height is not implemented because the total height is 350 so i will write here 350 and i will save this refresh my browser here you will see the slider is in the middle of the 
div now we have to create the content area this one and the footer area for the content area what i will do is i will create a one more div after the slider div right so i will write here content and here i will write id right i will save this i will put a name here content and in the css section i will write here a one id name as content right hope you are understand everything if you do not understand anything you can comment me i will answer your questions so i will save this slider css just to save the time right i will copy this thing here now what i want to do is let me tell you this thing the important thing is width 990 this is okay but the height is 350 right here when we see in the design the height is almost 500 you can also adjust this height according to your design so i will write here 500 and the line height also i will write here 500 i will save this here in the id i have write the content I will save this I refresh my browser here you will see the content area is created but you will see this is the blank area is also covered white area why this is covered let me show you this thing this is very interesting thing when we come in the CSS and in the container In the container we have right here width 990 this one width is 990 we have created we have right there and we have right here the height 999 pixel triple nine pixel so what it means we have allocated the height till then this point right but we cover also the area bottom bottom area which is under this height 990 pixel so how we can cover this thing there are two ways we can write here minimum height and the second one is we can calculate the total height first of all tell me uh, let me tell you the total height how you can calculate you can calculate the logo area height let me tell you from here you can calculate the height for the logo and banner then menu plus news plus slider plus content height then footer height so you will approximately get total height like more than 1100 like the logo height is 130 the 130 height here logo right 50 for the menu we have right here 50 130 plus 50 height then you can plus new sticker height 50 pixel then also you will add the slider height 350 500 for the content it becomes like almost 1100 so one way is this that you can write here the exact height what you calculate in the container and the second one method is which is very appropriate you can write here minimum dash height 990 pixel right suppose that if you are going to create more divs or more content area or more anything you want to div here two or three more divs then you will calculate the heights and then you will add that height in the container which is i think very difficult task so the simple task is you will write here the minimum height and you will refresh your browser right here you can see it covers everything here now uh, if i am going to add a one more div for the footer you will see i do not need to change the height here i just need to write the div 
and the height will automatically created now first of all let me put this font size here just to show you the very thing now in the same way I'm going to write here the div for the footer like in this website we are following this website this is the website that I have created in the last web designing lecture series and this is created with the help of the table tag now we are working in the div structure so this is the footer for this one I will write here a one div I will write here div and uh, I will write here ID which is right here footer right and uh, I will close this div in between I will write here footer right I will save this let me put this font also here this is just for your understanding to show you the text bigger in the font I will remove this when we are going to do the work like uh, we are going to put professional work like uh, this one when we are going to make the sidebars this one so definitely the background color and uh, fonts will be removed from there now for the footer what I have to do is I will copy this thing first of all I will write here hash footer let me confirm the name spelling from here this is very important what you have to do is your spelling should be same if you are going to write on yourself now the width is 990 it's good the footer height I need 50 pixel you can see I need the 50 pixel footer height and uh, the line height will be also 50 pixel now here you can see logo menu news slider area is created the content area is created and we have put in the container height minimum height right so you can see there is nothing in the bottom when I will refresh you will see the footer area will be created so first of all logo manual news slider and the content and here you can see the footer area is automatically created one thing more if you are going to calculate the height like uh, this one 50 pixels plus 500 plus 350 height for all the divs for all the blogs then at the end you will see also not appropriate results why you will not see the appropriate results because we are writing here the border so one pixel means this is the two pixel one pixel is for the content top and one pixel is for the bottom top slider bottom border right let me tell you this thing also here you can see we have created this logo ad and banner area put one pixel border so the bottom border of the logo area and the top border of the menu area it becomes two pixel width for the border so that's why when you are going to write here the total height after calculating all the divs you will not get your correct answers right so for this purpose you can also put here background color do not put here border you can also put here background color how you can put the background color here let me tell you this thing also like the I have put here the border so I will write here like background color what color I want 
I will write here like uh, some this something this color I will save this refresh my browser so in the end you can see I have removed the border so you can not see here border this border this border is of this content border right so this line is what this is the container in the container we have also put the border you can see here if I will remove this this is let me show you this thing also I will save this refresh my browser here you can see there is no border here right so in this way you can make the structure of the website with the help of div HTML CSS now in the next lecture uh, we are going to start uh, putting here logo and ad banner how you can make the news and menus sliders I will tell you in this thing all in the next lectures like this we will put everything here so website will be shows like this so this is all for today if you do not understand anything you can comment me I will answer your questions so if you like my video please thumbs up my video and subscribe my channel like my videos and share my videos with everyone so that everyone can get this knowledge and make their own websites very easily thank you so much